Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacat. In this video, I want to talk about a way, a method that you can use to get metadata information from your Power BI semantic model. Uh, there is a set of DAX functions. We call them DAX info functions. We are going to talk about that and you will see how you can use that as a DAX function to get some information from your um, semantic models such as like how many tables you have, how many columns you have, what is the dependencies between calculations. Let's go and check it out. So how these info functions actually works? These are functions similar to other functions in DAX with one big difference. Many other functions, you normally use them to uh, build a calculation, to write a calculation for answering business requirements. Whereas these types of, these types of functions, we normally use it internally in the BI team, in the analytics team to understand how our model is working. Um, sometimes we might use it for performance tuning. Sometimes we might use it to understand which column consumes more uh, space, takes more space. Sometimes we just want to have a list of tables and columns and these functions can help us to do that. So let's jump into my screen so that I can share and show it to you how this works. This list that you see here, this is a list of info functions. As you see, they are all starting with uh, the characters info and then dot. There are like about 68 functions available at the time of creating this. Uh, and I'm going to show you how you can use this, um, these info functions. So first thing you need to know is that these functions are a part of DAX functions I call as tabular functions. There are two types of functions, scalar functions and tabular functions. Scalar functions returns a single value. Normally we use them when we want to create a DAX measure. Tabular functions are the functions that we normally, they return a table and we normally use them to filter something. Filter functions, for example, is one of those select columns is another. Info functions are in the category of tabular functions. I have a separate video talking about tabular versus scalar functions in detail. Um, when it is a tabular function, one of the best places you can test it is in the DAX query view. So the way that it works is that you'll go into Power BI desktop and then you'll go to this tab, which is the DAX query view tab. Uh, then um, normally it opens with a default query, but you can um, add a new tab if you want. Here you can increase the font or decrease the font size by control plus or control minus or the uh, scroll bar on your mouse. Uh, to use info functions, you can start with evaluate. Evaluate is a way that we can use, is a command that we can use to return a result of a table function. So here I can say evaluate and then type info dot and you see all the info functions appear here. I can start with something such as info calc dependency uh, without any parameter. So what this does, this returns a table with all the calculations within my Power BI model. Uh, you see these are calculated columns, for example. Some of these might be hierarchy. Some of these might be measure. Uh, what it does, it shows each calculation and the calculation expression itself and which object this is dependent on, which is a table or a column or another calculation. Because this is a calculated, um, because this is a table output, you can use it with other tabular functions to filter it. Like for example, let's say I'm only interested in getting the measures in this list, the calculation dependency of the measure. So uh, I can put that inside a filter function. Filter function accepts a table as the input. In this case, uh, this is my input table. And then the expression, I can say something like object type is equal to measure. Now what this does is that it, it filters the result of that table and only shows me the records that are measures. 
this is how simple you can work with these functions. You can simply add filters, you can use something such as select columns uh, and, and things like that. In fact, if you looked at that list of functions, I actually generated that list of functions using this method. I used info.functions to return a list of all functions in DAX, not only info functions, every function. Then what I did is that I put that inside a filter command and I said, well, only filter it when the name of the function contains info. And then the last step was that I said select columns because it has like a lot of columns in it. Let's just select the function name and the description of it. That is how simply you can work with these functions. Now there are tons of different functions that you can use and get some information. Uh, and there are 68 functions as I said in, in those there are some functions that gives you some uh, information that are slightly different than normal functions uh, and those are info.view functions as you can see here I have info.view there are four functions with that um, with that initial at the start. I'll show you the difference between this and info.table. So if I just run info.table, when you run two commands in DAX query view, uh, the response would be two results. You can choose between which one. So the first one is at the moment, the return result of info.table. You see the ID of the table, the name, some of the information, a lot of IDs, like a storage ID, some some information like that. Whereas if I run the second one, which is info.view.tables, this is a more user-friendly view of it, which gives me information in a much more usable way. So here you can see that I have the table name, but I also have like data category, I have is hidden, I have a storage mode, which is import or direct query, things like that. In the info.tables, this information needed to be joined with another table to get the value. Whereas here, this created a view that has all these values. There are four uh, view functions and they are quite helpful to use um, to filter them out to find view functions. You can simply just run a query like this and um, it is the same query that I used to get list of functions. This time I say info.view and there are four view functions, columns, measures, relationships, and tables. Uh, and things such as relationship, you can easily use that to get information such as, um, such as relationship information. Uh, if I say view relationships, better result. Here, for example, you can get things such as uh, like where is the relationship starting, which table to which table, is it a one direction or both directional? This is a good way to understand if you have a both directional relationship in the model with many tables. Is it active or inactive? Uh, is it one to many? Is it one to one? You have the cardinality and all of those information is in there. So one uh, really useful way to get this information uh, is just running these queries within the DAX query view, which is a really good way to analyze it. However, sometimes you might want to get this information and produce it as a visual so that you can have a look and see it. For something like that, you can go to the data tab and here you can go and create a new table. However, not every um, function can be used in creating a table. For example, here you see I used info.storage table columns and the output cannot be used in here. Whereas I used another table, this is a calculated table as well, but this time I just said info.view.table. So what this one is, does in, is doing is giving me the list of all tables. Um, here is the name of all tables and are they hidden or not? As you can see, some of these tables are the default date table in Power BI. In this model, we haven't disabled that. I have a separate video explaining about what the default date table is compared to custom date table, their differences. So go and check that one out as well. But this is a good way to find them out. So after I create this as a table in my model, then I can go to the report view. I can use that in a visual. And here I have a way to filter it and say only show me the tables that are hidden 
in this case, this is a good way to show me the default date table as an example. But as I said, um, this is not possible for all the uh, DAX info functions. Some of them you cannot use within that structure. Uh, but most of them, um, but all of them, you can use them in the DAX query view. Uh, one really use a good use case of this is running a function like this, info uh, dot storage table columns. What this function does is that it gives you list of columns within each table and how much space they are taking. This function returns a lot of columns, but the three most important are these, table, column, and size, dictionary size. Now, dictionary is actually in megabyte size. Um, so here you can see that when I just want these three columns, I can select only those and I can order it by size. So here I can see how big are some of these columns in my model. And if I want to do something about it and go and remove it, if I don't use it, I can use this approach to go and do that. So in general, uh, what we are talking about uh, in terms of DAX info functions, these are simple functions. In, um, in MDX previously, we had a set of functions called dynamic management views. We can still run those on a Power BI semantic model as well. You can open something like uh, SSMS or DAX Studio and run DMVs using MDX code, but info functions are just simplified version of that. Of course, we have more DMVs than info functions, uh, but the list of info functions getting updated uh, as we speak and uh, really simple to use. You can use it in a Power BI semantic model as a calculator table, or you can use it directly in a DAX query view, which is my preferred way of doing that. I hope you liked this video. If you liked this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. Until the next video, bye.